more than 100 million Americans experience chronic pain. That number exceeds those suffering from heart disease, cancer and diabetes combined. Pain relieving drugs often fail to heal the injured tissue. While these drugs can alleviate the outward symptoms, they fall short of addressing the underlying cause. Scientists have discovered a fatty acid that's naturally found in the body and it targets the underlying cause of chronic pain. It works at the pain site to turn off the pain signal. More importantly, by working at the site of the injury, this peripherally acting fatty acid helps to break the inflammatory pain cycle. Clinical studies show reduction in pain after 14 to 30 days and sometimes even sooner. Pain relieving drugs come with inherent risks and people who rely on these medications might not be aware of the potential damage that they can cause. Chronic pain demands treatments that target the underlying causes at the site of the tissue damage. PEA reduces the inflammatory stimuli at the site of tenderness to turn off the pain signal. And the PEA offers a safe, non-addictive option for those who are suffering from occasional minor pain and discomfort. In addition, it's been shown to reduce the reliance on other pain medication. This may radically alter how pain is managed in the future. Common pain relievers come with inherent risks, yet the overprescribing of these drugs has become a standard practice with devastating results. Current users of ibuprofen and naproxen have a 1.5 fold greater risk of suffering a heart attack. Regularly taking non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen increases the risk of kidney impairment by 32%. Overprescribing of addicted opioids has led to an epidemic resulting in more than half a million deaths since the year 2000. Scientists have been aggressively researching for safer alternatives to relieve pain and this led to the natural fatty acid compound palmitol ethanolamide or PEA and this works at the site of the tenderness to turn off the pain signal. In clinical studies of PEA, noticeable reductions in pain were seen after 14 to 30 days of supplementation and sometimes in as little as one week. PEA has an extraordinary safety profile. It doesn't result in dependence or addiction because unlike opioid pain relievers, it doesn't involve the body's opioid receptors. PEA is a fatty acid the body naturally produces to lower inflammation. In recent published animal studies, researchers have demonstrated that the PEA downregulates distinct inflammatory and oxidative pathways and significantly relieves chronic inflammatory and neuropathic pain. Multiple clinical trials and other human studies involving more than 1,100 participants have established the validity of PEA as a powerful peripherally acting pain reliever. Peripherally acting compounds work on the site of the original injury, helping to normalise the body's response to the tissue damage. Unlike commonly used pain relieving drugs, PEA has no documented cardiovascular or renal risk. Clinical studies on PEA highlight its safety and its efficacy, even when used in combination with common pain relievers. Investigators chose to test PEA against sciatica nerve pain, a condition that involves inflammation and pressure on the main nerve supplying the back portion of the leg. Sciatic pain is one of the most common forms of chronic pain, affecting up to 43% of people. For this study, 636 patients with sciatica pain were randomly assigned to receive either a placebo or 300 mg of PEA or 600 mg of PEA. After three weeks, both groups of the people who were taking the PEA experienced significantly better pain reduction and quality of life scores compared to the placebo recipients. Those who were taking the higher dose had the most improved outcome. The study also revealed that the PEA provides pain reducing effectiveness that surpasses most pharmaceutical standards. Researchers frequently estimate how many patients would need to be treated in order to achieve a 50% reduction in pain. This number is known as the number needed to treat. Any number below 5 indicates a useful pain intervention, with a measure of 1 being the statistically perfect ideal. In the study of PEA, the number needed to treat was 
just under three by the second week of the treatment, and by week three the number needed to treat was down to 1.5. This indicates that PEA has a remarkably high degree of effectiveness in pain reduction. Migraine headaches are the sixth highest cause of years lost to disability worldwide. There's two main types, migraines with an aura and migraines without an aura. Auras are constellations of neurological symptoms that usually occur before the onset of a migraine, though they can also occur during a migraine. Auras can also occur without any migraine headache, and individuals who have migraines with an aura also have migraines in which no auras occur. Auras usually last for just a few minutes, and they're most commonly visual, though they can also affect other senses, verbal ability, or the motor nervous system. A single blind clinical study was conducted to assess the safety and the efficacy of PEA in 20 sufferers of migraines who experienced severe pain as well as visual aura. Each was given 1200 milligrams of PEA daily for 90 days and all were evaluated at 30, 60 and 90 days. They also took non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen at the onset of an acute attack. At 60 days, PEA supplemented patients experienced dramatic improvements in reducing pain symptoms, and this effect continued until the 90-day follow-up. Remarkably, at 90 days, this treatment group demonstrated a reduction in the number of migraine attacks per month, and a reduction in the number of painful days, and there were no adverse effects. Some of the most commonly used pain medications are the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and these drugs reduce the levels of prostaglandins, compounds that indicate acute inflammation and increase sensitivity to pain. By blocking an enzyme called cyclooxygenase, which is required for their production. Because the most common non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen and naproxen are available over the counter without a prescription, millions of people self-prescribe for pain control. Unfortunately, Despite their wide availability, the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are not as innocuous as people believe. While they're generally safe for short-term use over a few days, longer use can be very dangerous and even lethal. Considering that many people use the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs for chronic types of pain, such as back pain or arthritis, this presents a serious problem. Although non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs reduce inflammation in some parts of the body, prolonged use can cause injury and inflammation in the stomach, leading to gastritis and ulcers. These can be associated with gastrointestinal bleeding and even a rupture, which can be life-threatening. Even relatively short-term use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs is associated with an increased risk of heart attack and stroke. Even more insidiously, the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can damage the kidneys. With prolonged use, this can contribute to the development of kidney failure and the need for dialysis or even a kidney transplant. Oftentimes, the damage being done is not noticed until it's too late, unless it's detected on blood tests of kidney function. Although the risk for serious kidney injury with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug use appears to be worse in those with pre-existing kidney disease or other risk factors like high blood pressure, significant damage can occur even in young, previously healthy individuals. The take-home message is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug use should not be taken lightly. It's recommended to limit the use overall, substituting safer alternatives whenever possible. In another study, scientists put PEA to the test again against another common type of pain, carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome occurs as a result of a compression of the nerves that extends to a narrow space in the wrist, and it results in tingling, weakness or numbness in the hands. In this study, patients who'd received no treatment acted as controlled, while others were given either 600 or 1,200 milligrams of PEA per day. After 30 days, the patients who had taken the PEA reported reduction in the symptoms and the discomfort compared to the controls. They also experienced improvements in nerve conduction studies along the median nerve. 
These improvements are clinical indicators of a reduction in the pain-related inflammation and improved function. In the compelling studies above, the PEA proved to be effective as a pain reliever when compared either to a placebo or to no treatment at all. Researchers conducted a randomised placebo-controlled study comparing the pain relieving effects of PEA to ibuprofen. The patients suffered temporomandibular joint or TMJ pain, which is an often chronic condition that causes severe jaw discomfort. For the study, 24 patients with TMJ were divided into two groups. One group took 600 milligrams of ibuprofen three times a day for two weeks, while the other group took 300 milligrams of PA in the morning and 600 milligrams in the evening for the first week, and then only 300 milligrams of PA twice a day for the second week. The 1800 milligram dose of the ibuprofen is dangerously high, yet many chronic pain sufferers take it anyway. Within just two weeks, those who were taking the PEA experienced a greater decrease in pain than those who were taking the high dose ibuprofen. They were also able to open their mouth wider, which is an indicator of the range of motion, and with less pain than those who were in the ibuprofen group. Importantly, PEA accomplished these benefits without any side effects. These results were consistent with a 2018 review that found none of the clinical trials with PEA to date have reported any treatment-related adverse effects. PEA reduces inflammation at the peripheral site of the pain, making it a powerful pain reliever for chronic pain. New evidence suggests PEA might also act in the central nervous system to quench the neuroinflammation. A recent study suggests that PEA's anti-inflammatory effect, in combination with levodopa therapy, can also help to slow the progression of Parkinson's disease. 30 patients with advanced Parkinson's who were being treated with the drug levodopa were given a battery of cognitive tests before and after treatment with PEA. They received 1200 milligrams of PEA daily for three months, followed by 600 milligrams per day for up to a year. The investigators documented a significant and progressive reduction in both motor and non-motor symptoms. Astoundingly, after a year of PEA supplementation, the number of patients who exhibited any symptoms had been reduced, a previously unheard of reversal in this chronic disease progression. Larger randomised and controlled clinical trials might yet reveal new potentials for PEA to reduce neuroinflammation and to improve the ability to protect against neurodegenerative diseases. Chronic pain often involves both peripheral inflammation as well as amplification of the perception of the pain within the brain. Long-term treatment with pain-relieving drugs involves a high risk of adverse effects and it fails to target the underlying cause of chronic pain. PEA functions to suppress the painful inflammatory stimuli that persist at the site of injury. For more on herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans, check out my website.